All right, we are taking um, this Pioneer deck into the um, current meta. What I'm going to try is, I've seen a lot more creature aggro decks, so this is a very heavy removal variant of the Niv deck, with a few less threats, basically. We're looking to hopefully gain a value. Um, we're not running the... Um, uh, the um, Voice of Resurgences, we took those out at the moment. I'm just going to see how I feel about this creature deck. I'm thinking it'll be okay, but we'll we'll just see. So what we've done is we're running um, a lot of two drops, we're running a couple of growth spirals. Removal, we've got Rub Decay, Tyrant Scorn, Vanishing Verse, Veto for counters for big effects. We've got Sylvan Character for ramp. Valky for the Tybalt, bring to light in Synergy. In our free drops, we've got a couple of board wipes. We have to use these obviously now because it's in more creature decks. Clophis is a grindy mid-range eventual win out the deck effect. And then we're running two ways to basically destroy, do damage, discard, as we're doing here with Prismari Command, Colligan's Command. I'm trying Spell Queller because I've seen a couple of variants online using it, so I want to see how I feel about it. In our 4 drop, we have 1 Yishan, 1 Culling Ritual, and 1 Notion Thief for the blowout steal against control. 5 drops, standard Niv and Bring to Light with Law Hold Command. I'm just going to try this one out because I've seen this one being run as well. I haven't tried it yet. In our sideboard, we have Fatal Pushes for early aggro. We have Flame Sweep for another early aggro deck, Slaughter Games for control de um, for combo decks, Notion Thief for control, more counter spells for control with Disdainful Stroke and Dispel, Rakdos Return for control based decks to just grind out what they've got, Additional Calling Ritual, and one Sarah Crook Control matches. Oh, and, and is it Static Caster for a token y kind of tribal deck? We'll just see how this goes. Alright. Jump immediately into the game. Ba -ba -bum. See if how the Pioneer games look right now. Jengus has been in four games, I think, from what I remembered. Let's see how we do. Oh yes, I should have also said we are running Gigantha, obviously. Declare Gigantha as our companion. Um, removal, eventual win, and okay, this is good. Right, blue. Oh, is this just going to be control? All right, we got a white there, so we can use this, and we'll see what our opponent does. Consider Hallowed Fountain. Okay, I believe this is control deck. Right, we're gonna get red. I don't think he's gonna drop anything too crazy. Drop this past the turn. Is he spirits or blue white flash? No. I think he is just straight up control. Yep. Okay. Let's play this. Let's try the Colophus, get it countered. Okay, so we probably must have like a uh, seal away effect. I'm okay with this, we'll just keep grinding stuff away. We could get another, we could fill out the deck more here. But we'd have to get blue. Yeah, I think we can do that. So, let's play this past the turn. See what our opponent does. 
Look at the top X cards of X and the mana spent. Put two of them into your hand, okay? So it's not a draw spell. Now if they go for the Teferi on five. Then we'll see what they do. Yep, Teferi on five as expected. Right, let's uh let's take away his draw and use our own. Thank you, I will take my draw. You may untap two lands, but I am going to now attack your Teferi. Get rid of the memory deluge. Right. Let's attack with the Notion Thief and see if we can uh, get something out of this. Okay. No action was taken. So let's run out a Niv. See if we can force him to use it. Reload! Okay, no spell. Interesting. I'm guessing then he must have removal. Uh, Clarion's going to be pointless in this matchup. My guess is he's going to go for the uh, Supreme Verdict, then to Fairy on tap, hold up the counter spell. Yep, that was pretty obvious. It's like I said, it's control just has two modes, basic and more basic. Why would you give? Why would you give these decks more effects? So let's hold up mana here. Because he's not going to do anything on his turn. So I think we should do it on his end step. Cycling is fine. Cycling again. Dang, if we could have only had one more mana, we could have then Colligan's commanded back the Notion Thief and used the Notion Thief. Right, what we're going to see now is just the grindiest, slowest match you can imagine, probably. Okay. Oh, he has another Teferi. Yep, of course he does. Okay, so let's do two damage, return a creature card. Let's return the Notion Thief and two damage to this. Black one then we'll flash in this at the end step so we can do more damage to it basically we just Need more answers for Teferi. Let's just keep this guy down. We gotta wait five minutes while he figures out if it's worth saving this Teferi.
So he has to destroy this, otherwise he's going to... Mm-hmm. Ward 3, wow. Oh, I didn't uh, flash in the notion thief. Well, yeah, I shouldn't do that anyway. Hmm. All right, well, let's do this now. Because if he's gonna, okay. Now we should draw the clothes. Yes, he's gonna untap two now. So we can kill this Teferi. We probably just need to bring in slaughter games and take out Teferis. But I don't think they have other win conditions. Settle the wreckage. Okay with that. I still don't have black. There's another counter spell. Is it worth even playing this out? I don't even know if I would even want to play it out. You know, it's the first. Because <laughs> we're only doing casual testing here. Oh. I'm starting to see why this. Yeah, he's been in four matches looking at this. I'm guessing that most people see it's blue eye control and then just can't be bothered. Can't blame him. Yeah. Oh, we're just we're just done here. Um, we really need to test this against a more more. Um, don't even know. It's just control man. I just hate playing control matches. They are just like the most boring magic, in my personal opinion. Take that out and just do it like this. If we don't find a quick answer here, I'm just going to move on because I do not want to play out. It's late here and I can get in one more game. I can get in like two more matches or I can play one more game against the control deck. Honestly, it's just not appealing. Uh, actually, we need to bring you in over that. Sadly. I will admit though, it has been a much more enjoyable format with the three mana Teferi gone. I still think five mana needs to go. I because its plus is basically a protection. I think it really breaks the design space. Uh you know what, we'll just keep this because it's got lots of lands, we'll see what happens. Am I, well, did I quit too quick in that game? Probably. But like I said, this is more of a test for the uh, matches we're going to have where we can play up against potentially uh, potentially the more creature-based aggro decks that we've been seeing a lot more of, which is really hilarious, the fact that the minute I make a deck to face that, I run into a control player, and he appears to be the most active player on here. Oh, 
Oh, I should have probably gone for the uh, rub decay there. We can abrupt decay the Nars there when he goes through it. He's going to consider now for five minutes whether or not he can cast a spell. And then I'm going to probably get down to like 18 mana. We'll see that there's... Kill that. You'll find it a fairy. Yeah, mystical dispute. So basically, all these spells now can't work because you'll forever have counter magic. Am I being unnecessarily negative? Probably. But I still think if they tap out for a five mana planeswalker that has a win the game, it's plush should not be additional ways you win the game. That's just my personal opinion. But yeah, I've uh Alright, we're gonna circ at the end step when he goes for his Teferi. He'll have a two mana kill spell to kill Surak anyway. Land. Oh, no Teferi. Okay, well, we'll just flush this in now. And we'll see what, uh. What, uh, creature kill spell he's holding. Yes, my god, look, he got two mana kill a creature. And he still has mystical dispute, so. I guess that's gonna happen, right? Now we're to fairy, and then we won't be able to do anything. Detention sphere. after here to try and go for the Niv or the Bring to Light here. Or do I just go for the thing here? You know what? Green, black, white. Mystic Dispute. Reasons. Uh, Dispute is a weird one for me. And rather, they just reprinted Mana Leak. There's the Teferi that will inevitably win in the game because he will have perfect counter spells for everything we attempt to do now. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my personal opinion is that Teferi was the biggest mistake Magic has made and he should not have been printed. Now we'll get the slaughter games. We'll take the Rakdos' return. Rakdos' return could be a great blowout if we could force his hand to use it. But he could just literally go 1 2 3 counter. Yeah, he's just gonna find another Supreme Verdict. Protect the Teferi. Why is it two lands is my biggest issue with this. Yep. Then you'll untap two mana and you'll have a perfect board to just do things. Let's just flash this in now while he doesn't have the mana. 
but he probably has the thing right. The mystical dispute, yep. So he's gonna have two mana open. Five. Another counter spell. Maybe we need to replace these with the. Uh... Oh my god, oh, I'm so. Bump. Just gotta keep pushing him down here. Yay, to fairy with the super protection. Another supreme verdict effect, right? Oh no, just dig through time because that card is still balanced in this format where control is. Uh. I think I just need like two mana uncounterable killer planeswalker. Okay, well, let's just get this over with because we all know that we're not gonna be able to stop the Teferi. Behold, it's turn 10 and we've done no damage to him because every spell that we've attempted to cast has literally been, can we actually try and not die to a Teferi? God, at least when it was Gideon I'd be dying quicker. Like I said, that's my personal choice right now. I really, really want them to bring um, back I really want them to bring back to fairy, uh, not to fairy. I want them to use or an Elsbeth or anything that's just fine. You've played a spell. Can we just go to the next thing here? I wish there's more to talk about here, but this is literally going to be what we're going to see now for the next like 20 turns if this game is to continue. Our opponent will just go to fairy, activate, pass, to fairy, activate, pass, to fairy, activate, pass, with no progression of the game state. As opposed to at least if it was an Elsbeth, it would be like, okay, I'm getting punched in the face with like 20 different things. So, you know, at least there's something. I just, I don't even know anymore, like, I just really, <laughs> like I said, it's a lot that I just do not want to play. We have to kill this Teferi so we can get his second Teferi and his first Teferi and maybe his fourth Teferi. Yep, he is the 20th counter spell, so we don't get to play magic. God, it's so boring. <laughs> Talking to uh, my new local game store I've been going to. One of my friends was saying how um, 
in uh, his LGS he used to go to, there was such the control player was so slow that there was like people that would literally just not play matches with him. Would just go, you can have the win, mate. I'd rather just sit here and eat something than. Alright, what am I doing? Could Valky? I think we're just passing here. Yeah, he's scrying too. He's looking for another Teferi. Because that's literally the only thing this deck plays that could advance the fourth state. Because they're never going to actually cast the Shark Tornado. Maybe we can just win just by being slow here and just literally grinding it out. Hmm. Do we go for Valky or do we go for Bring? I mean, Valky makes the most sense because, yeah, you know what? It'll work fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, dirt, seven. We'll get another counter out of him here. Yeah, there's the absorb. Fine with that. I wouldn't even be bothered if at least they played like, you know, like a hero, what's it called? Um, Stir the Sands or whatever it is, the X token creator, instant speed. You know, just something to actually make the game go quicker. Fuck it, you know what? Counter. You want to do it? Flashback it for seven. You're going to drop the Teferi now, right? Another land. Yeah, they're just holding up counter spells for days. <sighs> Let's do this. You know what? I'm actually. Am I just bored enough to quit now when this doesn't resolve? I think I'm close enough to just quit. Yep. Two cards in hand. Bring Giganfa to hand. You'll top deck it to Fairy now, and then we'll be in the same boat again where we don't get to play Magic. Is that. That's two Vine of Mizzets. Yeah, I think that's true actually. Someone just put a message to me because he's we've got a friend watching. Just saying that if you'd actually played out the first game, you could have won on time. That is never anything you want to do in a friendly game where you're just trying to have fun. Why the hell would I want to win on time? <laughs> he's got two thirds of his deck are gone, so he's probably just holding like a dozen. looking for the land or something, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, memory deluge now for like 50. Oh, not even doing the memory deluge because I've got to play so carefully that this one card in my hand might counter it 
but they don't even want to use that even though it would speed up the game you gotta love freaking control players ain't you they literally don't do crap forever there's another dig through time Oh, it's actually a thing that could actually win the game quicker. Okay, well, let's do this. We'll return a Niv. We'll discard a card. Uh, black one. Just see if he does anything with this. Yes, please take time considering because I want to sit here and wait nine minutes to win the whole match. Faded absence, so he's got destroy effects. Yep. Probably got another counter effect. Let's play this and get countered again, ladies and gentlemen, because it'll be fun to just play. Fun to play into all these spells so we don't get to play magic. <laughs> Yay! Good God. Yay, you made a free free. Jesus fucking Christ. It was so good of you to actually play magic for once. Supreme Verdict? Holy shit! My god, he actually took damage! I just... Wow, you got a tele-control player! Holy fuck, you're not meant to attack, dude! You actually took an actual effect, which means that the second hood card in his hand is counter magic. Yay! Well, if he for gusted, screw it. Let's see if we can actually. No, once again, we don't get to play magic because he put another e for gust on top. Fuck it. Play this. It's that last fucking card is another Aoife Augusta. I'm just gonna have had it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, if he just... Oh, 
Oh no, it's a sorcery. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, we could have won if we'd attacked. So we could have run there if we'd attacked, uh, sadly. It just appears, yeah. Yep. Is there a way here to actually? We'd have to draw the nerve. Yeah, so we lose this. It's all right. We're into our next match after a really painful control match where I literally ended the match telling him, GG, I'm reopening, please don't rejoin. Because I really didn't want to play that deck again. I'm enjoying this. I think this is pretty good. We can uh, try home. Fabled will eventually be good fixing, so we'll keep this. See what our opponent's on. Oh, is this Phoenix? This could be a Phoenix. So let's start with a Ketra Triome. Pass the turn. Yeah, this is going to be Phoenix. Second consider. Alright, so I'm trying to remember how this deck functions. Alright, so let's put down the Sylvan Carrioted. It's pretty much immune to anything they would fry and do here. Then we can hold up Notion Thief, which could be pretty good. <laughs> the third consider. in the ice. I like that. Alright, so let's do this. Then let's wait. See what our opponent's doing on their turn. Well, we might as well steal uh, this draw for fun. And then it'll force him to at least do removal. Then if he goes for removal here, we can live on the end step or do we bring to light for Tybalt and exile the thing we could do that I suppose it depends very much on what they do here hopefully the hand is just literally all cantrips that draw cards so that uh, notion thief is for is actually although to be fair if they triple cast three instant spells on top of each other Actually, could they do that? Because the thing in the ice trigger would go on afterwards. Yeah. 
Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so they're gonna chart a course and opt. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, a lot of their stuff there appears to be. Um, we couldn't Niv, because Niv would. So they didn't take charter course, they took opt and something else. Oh, we have more than enough here for the uh, nymph. So let's use this to fill out the deck. We'll grab red. And then we can bring to light here. Green, blue, black. Alright, so we bring to light for Tybalt. Exile thing in the ice. It's not instant speed, zero mana spell, right? <sighs> okay, so we get Valky, God of Lies, and flip that into Tybalt, the Cosmic Imposter. Then we will exile the thing in the ice to prevent the flip. Now, this puts two targets on the field though, because he has to deal with both the Tybalt and the Notion Thief. So we can do the attack here with Notion Thief. If Dibble falls, that's fine, because uh, ironically, Thing in the Ice is pretty good in our deck's current build with all the instants and sorceries we run. So let's see what our opponent does here. So this must be a delve spell, because they're exiling from the graveyard. Yeah, there's treasure cruise. That was that drew me free cards. I'm assuming then he must not know Notion Thief's abilities. Yeah, okay. Oh well, he conceded the entire match because we had Notion Thief. Alright, we will move on and try to find a third game. Okay, we've got our third game. Let's hope for a medium game, because our first game was a grindy mess, then our second game was horrendously slow. Uh, no, first game was horrendously slow. We're going to risk this, because we have the carrier to, to ramp. We could draw another land. So I'll start with this. See what our opponent does. Ooh, is this an aggro deck? Or is this a phoenix? Alright, so what they do on their turn will very much inform our decision moving forward. Double red and no play. Okay. We'll drop Clophis, because perpetual life gain eventually. Let's see what they do on their turn. Huh. Interesting. Ironically, this was terrible because we drew we drew the uh, one of the two lands Yishan Festures. But ironically, it's also quite good because they now can't use the Rust Monster, which I'm assuming. Rust Monster? Which I'm assuming must have. This has got to be some kind of fun, janky combo deck. Oh, okay, so it's like a loop deck. Pia's Revolution, yeah. Yeah, you can't sacrifice, buddy. Yishan literally stops that. Okay, um... We 
could Niv here go huge? Or we could deal two damage, destroy this artifact. So what we can do actually, what we need to do first, let's systematically remove this. So let's vanishing versus the peers revolution. Then let's Coligan's command, two damage, destroy target artifact. So destroy this, two damage to this, black, red, one. Get in with Yishan. This looks, I, um, I paid a real, what? Back in standard, there was a fun version of this in, um, oh, opponent concedes. All right, so they are, what do we bring in against this is even the question. Slaughter Games definitely, because it's like a combo deck. Notion Thief really doesn't work in this matchup, in spite of the fact that it totally removed a player from the previous matchup. Um, Static cast a good here. Might be a match for Static Caster, honestly. I mean, everything was three mana more, but also Fatal Pushes were not. All right, we'll bring in Static Caster. We'll just see how that runs. <laughs> Man, we've had a game where we got shut down by control. Then we had a game where the P. Um, where Notion Thief shut down the entire opponent. Um, this is acceptable. We can cast both the Vanishing Verses. But we need to really cast the... Uh... Prismatic Command if we eventually get to it. But if we get any other land, we can Jigan first. So yeah, we're... Uh... Well done, up okay. Oh, is he going now into a uh, more aggro style of attack? Interesting. Put this in tap so we can play all of our other lands as required. Okay, so we will run out the carrier to here. Pass the turn. We're going to take this because I'm not sure if he's going to have some way of dealing with it and I would rather have the blue here. Alright, so he did that which now gives us a perfect opportunity to do 2 damage, destroy target artifact. So 2 damage, destroy artifact, blue, red, 1. He loses both of those and potentially any cards he could have drawn from them, and we can pass. Alright, he has the implement of construction. Nice. When it is put into the graveyard from the battlefield from anywhere, draw a card. Alright, so what we're going to do here, one, two, three, we'll move Giganfer to hand and we'll hold up the Vanishing Verse just in case they do anything crazy. Another Tetrion. Can live with that. One, two, three, four, five. Play Giganfer. We have a clock now. Yep. One damage to me, yep. Still didn't draw a land, it's not good for him. When Tetris Prince the Graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. Alright, so let's attack with the Giganfer. Do we slaughter games here just to remove the evolution? The Pyre's Revolution? I think we do. Let's. 
load of games. Pia Pia's Revolution. All right, so yeah, there's lots of ways to make things huge. Rust Monster, Ravenous Intruder, yeah. So we'll just remove these Pirates Revolutions. Rendering Volley, four damage to a blue or white creature. Ravenous Intruder, so he needs one mana and then he can start doing stuff, okay. All right, he got the mana. Ravenous Intruder. Cool, so let's just white black, Vanishing versus the Ravenous Intruder. Play another carrier to attack what you're going for. Second Ravenous Intruder. Play the land. Black uh, Vanishing Verse Ravenous Intruder. Attack with Giganfer. Hold up the veto for the fling effect. Yeah, he's looking for something. It's a cool deck idea. It does have its issues though. Yep, alright, opponent concedes there, so. Cut it here. I'm thinking I need some other tech against control in the sideboard. That's probably gonna be my thing. The only match. Where I felt I didn't have any kind of out was control. But then that is the uphill battle for mid range, so I suppose it's fair. So let's go back to our deck very quickly. All in all, I was quite impressed. Notion Thief, as always, turned out to be MVP. Surak. Oh. I think we're in a state now with modern where they have enough instant speed, like. Like the two mana investigate removal, I didn't even know that was printed recently. That means that this is pretty much pointless. We probably need to look at maybe hexproof threats or something recursable in the sideboard that we could just constantly bring back. We'll uh, we'll have to have a look into that. But yes, um, did enjoy the build. We got we hit our greatest hits. We got a Valky. We got plenty of Niv Mizzets. We had a Piggy saying no. We had a notion thief nabbing all their draws. We also got a slaughter games in. Honestly, um, so yes, I think the flex slots are with this build of the deck. Maybe we aren't as re as heavily dependent on fatal pushes. Rakdos's return did really good. We could have won that last control game if we had gone in with the attack. It's such a shame, really. I should have probably been braver. Yeah, I should have played to my ass. But yes, that is where we stand.